In this tutorial, I'm going to talk about confidence intervals for population proportions. This equation here is one I'll discuss. It can be a little daunting. I'm also going to do an example and put numbers in here. Again, my focus is on this equation and I discuss this equation in other videos. I'm going to go through each of these variables and discuss what it means as well as I'm going to show you how it relates to the bell curve. The little p with a squiggly line is called a proportion. You can think of it as a percent. This plus and minus, we do two things with it. We do addition, we plus, and we do subtraction. And I'll discuss how you do that in a moment. This is called the confidence coefficient, and I discuss the meaning of this in another video. Multiplication. And then we have the n for the sample size. Again, we have the squiggly line for proportion, the p with a squiggly line. 1 minus the proportion. I'm going to use some numbers and do an example in a moment. This equation is actually two separate equations that we put into one equation. On the left side, we have the proportion minus the margin of error. And on the right side, we have the proportion plus the margin of error. And it can be written as this as well, the proportion minus margin of error, proportion plus margin of error. The very first thing you have to do is calculate the proportion. And the proportion is equal to the number in the sample that possess the characteristic of interest for example, the number of people in a survey that said yes, divided by the sample size, or how many people you surveyed total. And this is roughly a percent to, just think of it roughly as a percent, not exactly, but kind of. So I'm going to do an example. I survey people and ask them if they like ice cream. And of the people I surveyed, 400 of them said they like it out of 900. My confidence coefficient is 1.96. I discussed that in other videos, how I got that. So the proportion becomes, that's the equation, but it becomes an actuality, 400 divided by 900. And this is equal to 0.44, or roughly 44%. You could think of it like 44%. Now I'm going to calculate the margin of error, which is that part of the equation. So the margin of error is equal to 1.96 times the square root of 0.44 times 1 minus 0.44 divided by 900, the sample size. This is all equal to 1.96 times the square root of 0.44 times 0.56 divided by 900. This is equal to 1.96 times the square root of 0.2464 divided by 900. I'm doing this one step at a time. This is equal to 1.96 times the square root of 0 0.00274, which is equal to 0 0.016529. So the margin of error equals to 0 0.0324, which is a lot of calculations. Just do them one step at a time. You'll be fine. This whole equation is called the confidence interval, and it's the proportion 0.44 plus and minus the margin of error, which we know now. So the confidence interval is equal to 0.44 plus or minus 0.0324. So the lower bound is 0.44 minus 
the margin of error 0 0.024, which is equal to 0 0.4076. That's the lower bound. The upper bound is 0 0.44 plus 0 0.0324 or 0.4724 is the upper bound. And the margin of error is 0 0.0324. You can roughly say the lower bound is 40.7% and the upper bound is 47.2%. So let me tie this to the bell curve. So this bell curve looks something like a bell. The green area is 100% now, but I want 95%, so I have to carve off 5%. So I have 95%. In these two red areas, I have 2.5% in each of them. And 2.5 plus 2.5 is 5%. The whole thing adds up to 100. I'm going to put in the z-scores. 1.96 on the right side and 1.96 on the left side. And that 1.96 is actually a negative 1.96. Now, right in the middles are mean, and the z-score there is 0. Again, these are all z-scores. You're probably not digging this, but hey, I just want you to pass stats. So hang in there. So here at the middle of it is 0.44, which is the proportion. To the right is 0.4724. And to the left, as you're probably guessing, is 0 .47, 0 0.4076. And this is the confidence interval. Something like this. So what does all this mean? Did all these calculations? It means you are 95% confident the population proportion is between 0 0.4076 and 0.472. In other words, you are 95% confident that between 41% and 47% of people like ice cream. You could also say 44% of the people like ice cream plus or minus about 3%. Not sure I would use the plus sign and minus word, but anyway. Nonetheless, I showed you this little equation. I did an example. I showed you how this part of the equation is called the margin of error, and the whole thing is called the confidence interval. I went through each of these variables one by one, went through the proportion, the plus and minus sign, the confidence coefficient, and I hope that you understand this equation a bit better than you did before.